Okay, now let us solve one problem. So we will show that A inverse inverse is equal to A where A is any element in a group G. Okay, so the problem says that inverse of inverse of an element will give you the same element back. This is the first part of the problem. Okay. The second part of the problem that we will solve is that if A and B are elements in G, then what is the inverse of what is the inverse of A star B? What is the inverse of A star B? So I will say find A star B inverse. Okay. We will now solve the first part solution to show a inverse inverse is equal to a okay now this is very simple this is actually a one line proof okay since a has inverse what is the inverse of a i'm going to denote it by a raised to minus one. I can also denote it by what? I can also denote it by a dash. Okay. Since a has inverse a inverse, this means by definition, what can I say? A star a inverse is equal to a inverse star a is equal to identity. Right. Now I will look at the first and the last person. What is that equal giving me? This gives me that a star a inverse is equal to identity and if i convert this statement in words this statement in words says that a the inverse of the inverse of uh, let me uh, let, let me instead of writing the first and the third let me write second and third okay that is helpful i'm sorry let me write like this Okay, a inverse star a is a. So what will this this line in words mean? Inverse of a inverse is a. Inverse of a inverse is a. Right? This is the meaning of the above line in words. And again, if I try to con convert this into my mathematical language, what is inverse of a inverse? Means it is inverse of a inverse is how much is a and this is what we wanted to prove okay now let me show you the second part so what is the second part i'm going to take a and b in a group and i want to find i want to find what i want to find a star B inverse. Okay. What is the answer of A star B inverse? Most of you might come to a conclusion that A star B inverse is equal to A inverse star B inverse. But this answer is wrong. This is not correct. Okay. A star B inverse is not equal to A inverse star B inverse. Then what is the answer? Right. So let us do some calculation. Okay. So I will start with the LHS. Say, what is the LHS? I will say consider instead of saying LHS. I will say consider. This part is little tricky. Okay. So consider A star B star B inverse star a inverse okay what is this equal to if i simplify this what will this be equal to if i simplify this i can uh, put i'll put brackets now accordingly so i will write a star i will put bracket for the two people in the between b star b inverse star a inverse is equal to 
what is b star b inverse b star b inverse is identity so this is a star identity star a inverse again i will put brackets according to my convenience i will write it as a star e star a inverse why i'm putting brackets it means that i will solve this okay what is a star e a star e is a star a inverse and what is a star a inverse a star a inverse is again equal to identity so from the left hand side and from the right hand side what have i concluded i have concluded that a star b star i'm putting my brackets as my wish okay b inverse star a inverse this is the left hand side is equal to what is the right hand side the right hand side is identity okay now look at this statement carefully this statement is trying to say that alpha star beta i'm calling this beta is equal to identity similar calculation if i do for alpha beta star alpha beta star alpha will also come up to be identity similarly similarly beta star alpha will also come up to be identity okay i hope you understand this why beta star alpha will come up to be identity because what is beta beta is b inverse star a inverse star what is alpha alpha is alpha is a star b correct a star b again this and this will turn up to be identity and you will have b inverse star b and again this into this will turn out to be b and you will have b inverse star b and then you will have what finally you have added so beta star alpha is also coming to be what beta star alpha is also coming to be identity by the same type of calculation so from this i conclude that alpha star beta is equal to identity is equal to beta star alpha therefore if i try to write this in if i if i try to write this in words or if i try to write any one of them in words okay i will conveniently write somebody in terms of other okay so i will take this these two people and i will write that this two means that inverse of alpha is what inverse of alpha is beta now i will convert this into my mathematical language inverse of alpha means alpha the inverse is is means is equal to and this is equal to what beta but who was alpha but which person was taken to be alpha alpha was what alpha was a star b so bracket raised to minus 1 your alpha is a star b is equal to beta who is beta beta was what beta was b inverse a star a inverse so what we have proved in the second part or what we have observed in the second part is that a star b inverse is not a inverse star b inverse but it is equal to what it is b inverse star a inverse so the order gets changed when you take the inverse of the product the order of the inverses also get changed a inverse b inverse will be there yes but their order will also get change so x what is x star y x x y inverse the answer will be what y inverse into x inverse okay so this completes the problem